Okay, so this is the setup right now. It's I've moved some things around, but it's pretty cramped. So all of this here, I don't need. We could theoretically shorten the tables completely, but that's just way more work. So what we're gonna do is just cut off the excess that's on this side. So I'm gonna measure it from the inside to the metal bracket. There was a drawer here to remove this bracket. For sure I wanna remove this cause it's just, it's too close of a clearance and I kinda wanna go right about here. I'll do eight and three quarters. Okay. I think that's be safe. Safe. All right. Yeah, because it's perfectly nine. So what I'm gonna do is just peel this back all the way around to about this point. So we're just gonna literally peel it out. It's not in there with any type of glue. Past our point. Okay, I'm just gonna let it hang, honestly, because. Oh, okay. So it's one piece around one and piece then one the piece here. here. Okay, so now we know where to put the tape. Okay, so now we're getting our saw. We have our line here. Remember, we have our tape to help with any any fraying uh, with the wood chipping and whatnot. We have a little bit of break off here, but to have a shorter table, I'm not mad at it, so. So my curve, I just did an inch in on either side and then I just rounded it to my eyeball. Like it does not need to be perfect. We're just gonna go in with the circular saw and literally just chop this piece off so we can just sand it down pretty easy. So we just kind of cut off the bulk and then we're gonna take our orbital sander and we're literally just gonna round it out as best as we can. Just rounding it out. Do your best, doesn't have to be perfect, just a little bit round So I sanded it out. Look at that professional finish. And highly recommend the Diablo sand net. Did you just are, stick on? Yeah. Velcro it on. Sand net instead of oh. sandpaper. So I just drew a line. I followed from our original routed mark here. I don't know if they routed it. I'm assuming they did. And he's just gonna follow it all the way down. So the blade was just barely not thick enough. You can kind of see it here. So we're gonna drop the blade just a hair and go pass over it again. We have a problematic spot here. We're just gonna take out this raised part right here. Okay. And we are gonna use a chisel for this and just, just to, yeah. take out that little sliver. There. I'm using our little mallet to push it in. You could probably use a hammer and be fine, but we had a mallet so we decided to use one. Okay, so we got it tapped down all the way here. Look at where the bend is, right exactly mm -hmm. where. It... So we're just gonna slice it off. And we just wanna make sure we can shut. Yeah. As long as we can mm -hmm. shut, we're good to go. So we're going, boom. Okay, so we cut about this much off. Um, I lost my little drawer, but I really don't care about it. I'm really happy. It feels much more compact. It feels better. The only thing with this is if I have it up against the wall, it hangs off a little bit now because that's how much we cut off. But I'm really not worried about it. That is something to know if that is something that you're concerned about. But overall, I mean, it went pretty smoothly. I'll put a link in the description of all the tools that we use. I am a DeWalt fan, so no promises if you don't use DeWalt, if your project doesn't come out the same. Um, the table is pressed wood, so it has multiple layers in it. So the router gave us problems. So we ended up just going two passes with the circular saw and then chiseling out the little areas that we needed to. That worked fantastic for us. This should free up a lot more space for me. If you have any questions, uh, be sure to leave them down in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. This is just something I was searching for and I hope it's helpful to somebody out there. But yeah, thanks for watching.